Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a walkthrough of a classic EQ quest, the Enchanter Epic 1.5, also known as the Oculus of Persuasion. Keep in mind you'll need your 1.0 or the pre-quest to start this quest. Make sure you have a way to forage and make sure you have a Bruin skill of at least 116. It's not a quest that's dialogue heavy, which is good. It's pretty much just a few lines of dialogue here and there, and you go out and fetch some items from Norath. You'll also want to somehow have a good foraging skill. Okay, so let's start here in Burning Woods. The Sarnak Imitator. He's also known as Jablum said. And you'll receive a book called the Tattered Eligible Tome. It's a 10 slot container. And you'll need to go out and get 10 items. So I believe there's two ways to start this quest. One is if you've already done the 1.0, then you say the words, I am prepared. If you've done the pre-quest like myself, there's a whole different dialogue tree, but either way, once you get the 10 slot container, you're good to go. So here we are in Howling Stones for the first part. It, it'll be a ground spawn. And instead of giving you a lot of numbers, I'll just show you exactly where to go. So there we have the first part. I know sometimes I list locations, but this time I thought maybe I would just show you exactly where to go and put the map up. Here we are in Old Seb, the underwater area for the second part that we need. And it's right in this jail cell. Right there on the ground. Right next to the echo. Once you get that, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is item number three in Kazakh Thule. And the easiest way I found is just to go to the Wizard Spire. And if you just follow my character here, it's pretty easy. It's not very far. So you just pick it up from the ground. And on to the next step. and I'll show you on the map exactly where. And here we are in Crystal Caverns. This one's a little bit difficult too, but if you just follow exactly the spot on the map I'm circling here, it should be no problem. Some of these places I've never been to before, I started this quest, and I've been playing the game for 16 years. So some of these spots I've actually never been to so I had to figure out exactly how to get there. So it's right there. Now we'll be in Sky Shrine and I'm going to show you, because it's a little bit difficult to get to the area, you'll need to go through a maze the Sky Shrine maze and not a lot of people know how to do it. I had to learn how to do it myself to start so if you just follow what I'm doing you should get through the maze okay. I actually created a separate video for this after trying to get through it so if you want to check out my videos I have a video on how to get through the Sky Shrine maze. So if you just follow where I'm going you step on the teleporter Go to the left, there we step on that teleporter, and this part's a bit tricky because you have to go forward, and then you have to come back. So move forward, stop, come back, and now you're ready to go on to the next area. Hopefully you have the same map as I do. So, okay, so we got through the maze. And now you'll want to run 
forward. Click on the spin in blue ball. Watch out for the worms. Go to the left, open the door. And the piece of parchment you'll need is right next to the left side of the door. Right on the left side of the door. And there it is on the map. Okay, here we are in Belks, and I'll show you exactly how to get there from the zone in to get the page. Sorry, I said parchment before. It's actually a page. You have to collect pages. Be careful of this area. It's really slippery, but you've probably been to Belks before, so just come around the corner. through the invisible wall and make sure at this point to jump or else you'll fall into a place you don't want to be. This place took me forever to find out exactly where I was supposed to go. But I had been here once or twice so I kind of knew that there was a spot beyond the hidden door so this area is a little tricky because it's all slippery so make sure to take it slow. There's another hidden door. There's actually another person here, which I was surprised of. And there's the page you need. Okay, next area is the Crypt of Nadox. One of the Loy Zones. And I will show you on the map exactly the spot you need to be at. right by these Lugolds, right on the table. So that's another page. I'm actually doing these out of order, so on the screen you actually see a different order than what I'm doing. I'm, okay, so here in Agena, this part's a little bit tricky because I think there's a key you can get for the basement area here to open these doors, but I just had my rogue come in and just pick the lock. So you're seeing my rogue picking the locks, the area I need to be. This is another jail cell. If you're familiar with Nagina, it's right where that name spawns. Rathel. And you'll actually need to get in two locked areas. And I don't know enough about Najina to know if there's a key that drops for everybody. I just decided to have my rogue come and pick these locks. I apologize. Okay, so on the table, there's a page you need. And we will move on. The next zone is Fungus Grove. This one is almost directly under where you zone in. It's like this huge hill, and there it is on the map. Right there. So you run in. This is the underneath area. And this was actually recorded back in March when the Fabled were spawning, so we have a Fabled here. So we just loot the page and move on to the next area. Which will be the Ocean of Tears, and this one's a little bit tricky because you have to kill an NPC and wait 45 minutes for the ground spawn. So once you get in the zone, kill the first NPC on this island, and just sit around for like 45 minutes. 
and there's the page it'll spawn waiting is pretty tricky maybe put on some Leo Sayer okay so now you go back to Burning Woods and there's the Sarnak imitator watch out for aggro from these two guys you take all the pages and you press combine and the end result just hand to the, Im the imitator and he will send you to the plane of knowledge to speak to Malene, the Grand Librarian. So, if you're familiar with Plane of Knowledge, you're probably familiar with the elevator. So, we come up and look for Malene. He's a little dwarf around here somewhere. I also have trouble finding him because he's so short. Okay, so there's Malene. You type out Jeb Lubson sent me. So now he'll give you a note, and you'll need to take the note down to down to. Hold on, let me check my notes. Okay, that's the note to Labine. She's elsewhere in the library, and you have to give her the note. She's actually the NPC that you give your illusion items to, and she'll give you a spell back in return if you're familiar with that. So what I usually do is just do find, and it'll take me right to her most times, because sometimes that little line doesn't work. So here we are. Give her the note. She's like, it's not often that I receive a request from Malene himself. Please take these and be most careful. So you receive sealed documents and you take these back to Burning Woods and the Sarnak Imitator, also known as Jab. And at this point, he'll give you a book that um, is about assembling the staff you'll need. And at this point, you might want to say, I would like a chest, and he'll give you an ornate staff chest. This part I actually messed up on. I didn't say give me the chest. So I had to do it at the, at the end. I thought I messed up. But it's best to say it now. So what you'll need to do is go to Natimbi, and you'll need to kill a mob named an Tyson Potomade. And she'll drop a sullied gold filigree. It'll be underwater here. It's an underwater fight, but if you're level 105 like I am, it's super easy. Just have your pet out and just have your pet killer. Actually, put the um, location here. There's a negative 840 plus 1555. So you'll loot the gold figurine and the next step you'll have to purify it so you'll need to go to the halls of honor and I will show you exactly where you need to go from the zone in because this was a little bit difficult for me to find you'll need to find a mob named Anthone Chapin and he's in one of the basement areas but He's actually on the one in the one on the right hand side. So you'll have to hand him the filigree and he'll give you a purified one in return. And like I say with a lot of these um, 1.5 videos that I do it's best to follow along with maybe a write-up that you find somewhere because I found when I do a lot of my epics that um, I can do the quest fine it's just finding the place that's difficult so that's pretty much why I make a lot of these walkthrough videos just so 
you don't waste a lot of time looking for obscure areas. And I think they do that stuff on purpose. So you want to be as efficient as possible in getting these things done. So here's the NPC we need. So hail him and hand him the sullied gold figurine. And in return you'll receive a purified one. Next, go to Mr. Moore's castle, and you'll need to find a spawn named the Taste of Enticement. Enticement. It spawns on a table, and I'll show you the area. It's in the tower area. And this is another area I've never been to before I started this quest. So just click on that little elevator part and it'll come down, go on it, it'll take you up to where you need to be. And it spawns right on the table. Okay, so now you need to go to the Tower of Frozen Shadow and you need to get up to the seventh floor. Um, I'll leave it for you if you know how to do it. It's a little bit difficult. Maybe I'll do a write-up on it someday. But anyways, I'll assume you made it to the seventh floor. And what you want to do is charm advisor Smartwing. And you'll want to hand him the taste of enticement. In return, he'll give you the first piece of the staff. So now you have the first piece you need. It's a little bit difficult. This part is um, a little bit difficult getting up to the seventh floor of the TOFS. So now you need the second piece of the staff, and this one is in the plane of justice and it's in the back area here on the map it's actually like a hidden door I never knew this place existed to be honest but anyway there's a bunch of tunnels back here and you'll need to kill a mob named the Yarden Scarab and he's at the very back end of these tunnels. So you just come back all the way if you follow the map. So like in this little area we have the three scarabs. Just keep killing these guys until the name you need drops or spawns, which there he is. I waited about 20 minutes for him to spawn. It was pretty easy. So once you defeat him, he'll drop the second piece of the staff. ugly bugs okay so now the third piece of the staff drops from any named in vexed and in case you've never been to vexed before I'll show you how to request a vexed instance just take the guild hall port to Verindu and just follow where I'm going and this NPC right here is the person you need to talk to. You just tell her vexed and she'll give you the instance. So just run down this K 
canyon here and right next to the stomite guy in that little like cave area you just keep pressing on that until the instance lets you in and now you're in vexed and just keep um, defeating mobs in this instance until you have the third piece of the staff drop so I did a little bit of a time jump here where I actually got the staff to drop from a named took me about half an hour at 105 you should have no trouble like just clearing the whole zone so there we have the third piece of the staff okay the fourth piece drops from a, a mob in the blood fields war caller cave cave one of the two and this mob was a little bit weird she wasn't difficult to defeat but I think she has like mobs you have to defeat first in order for her to become targetable or become active so it was a little confusing here as well because I think some other raid mobs like added because there's there's a raid that you can do in this whole area and I think a couple of them added but it was no big deal eventually she became active and it's pretty easy to defeat as you can see in the background I have the other mobs from the other raid joining in I had a couple of my alts help me and once she's done for there's the fourth piece of the staff okay, now you have to go to Siren's Grotto and you have to defeat Felonil of Darkwater she drops an ornate staff topper that you'll need to loot She was pretty pretty easy. Well, all these mobs are easy at 105, but depending on your level, you might want to like bring some help if you're doing this on one of the progression servers. I don't know. Um, so, anyways, we will loot the topper right there. Right there. So then as soon as you loot it, a chest will spawn. And it'll contain some low level loot. Now on to the next part. You'll need to craft some incandescent oil. And in order to do that, you'll need four items. One of them is the Essence of Sunlight, and the reason I'm in South Row is because I remember lots of Essence of Sunlights dropping here when I was low low, lower level. You might even want to check the merchants in the zone. And they always drop from Giants, so I got one almost right away when I came in the zone. The next item is the Lichen, the Glow Lichen, and you can get that from... Nicotillo's Forest. The other item is a vial of purified mana, which is easy to find in the bazaar. Or you can craft it yourself too. The bazaar on my server is always full of them. So the next item is the Abysmal Moon Water. And I'll show you exactly where you need to get it because it's in the Abysmal Sea. Right when you zone in, just follow where I'm going. It's a ground spawn underneath. Like, the um, boats and I will put up the map pretty soon so you can see exactly where I am under the water
and you'll probably need a good brewing skill for this next part because you'll need to brew these items together and I think the trivial is 116 but brewing is super easy to to start and um, get up to 116 you can do it all like just from vendors maybe someday I'll do a uh, video on how to get your brewing skill up super fast so here's the item we need the moon water and there's where it's located on the map so now we'll move on and do the combine so then you combine the moon water the vial of purified mana, essence of sunlight, and the glow lichen in a brew barrel and you'll craft a glowing concoction this next part is one of the most time consuming um, because this mob is always like defeated every time I come in the zone um, it's a, a greasy clockwork and it's in plane of innovation you're supposed to loot glimmering oil from him but I think he's an open zone like spawn so if there's other people in the zone they'll kill him and you'll have to wait for him to respawn so at this point I spent like maybe a day trying to get the glimmering oil so once you defeat him another chest spawns so now you have to combine the glowing concoction glimmer and oil dragon egg oil and prismatic dye into a brew barrel to craft incandescent oil and the dragon egg oil um, you have to forge a dragon egg from western waste and combine it with water flask you can also find a dragon egg in tower of machine um, to create the prismatic dye you need to you need to combine some glazed liqueur with a prism shard and you'll find both those items on Alicia Dirty Shoes if you just do a search in Plane of Knowledge using the find button okay so on to the Plane of Mischief and I'll show you exactly where you need to go to defeat the all C and I just follow me as I make my way there Okay, so at this point, go through the invisible wall on the left and just follow where I'm going. This maze actually inspired me to make a video about how to get through here. So click on Bristlebane's picture. Now click on the torch. Now click on the flower pot and you should get to the maze and the maze is pretty easy to get to the inside you just keep going around the grassy area the hedge until you find openings so now once you're actually in by the Aussie and I you just uh, defeat him he actually has a lot of hit points So then once he's down, loot the all seeing eye. So now go back to Burning Woods, and this is your last stop. You can buy the purified gold filigree, the four pieces of the staff, the ornate topper, the incandescent oil, and the all seeing eye in the ornate staff chest that will create a latched ornate chest and then you hand that to, to the imitator
and once you hand it to him you will get your epic 1.5 the oculus of persuasion so overall this quest was was pretty normal for an epic 1.5 quest um, it was light on text and heavy on obscure places to go I enjoyed it it was pretty fun um, you also get a achievement for completing this and there's what it looks like it's a clicky it's something you can brag to your friends and guildmates about it's a symbol of the care you take for your tune because your epic 1.5 is pretty much a status symbol it's a prestige item well that's about it um, be sure to visit my website at everquestmemories.com to just read about memories of people's experiences in EQ sometimes I update it with current information um, feel free to visit there leave some comments below if you want to thumbs up if you want to um, I think I'm out I will see you all later